boy, has it been a while since I've done a video like this. Anyway, before you, you see what I would consider the two best 18-inch high-velocity circulators on the market. On the left, you see an Air King model 9218. This unit is from, I'd say, late 90s, possibly very early 2000s. But the new units you buy, they're pretty much the exact same thing, just with a different emblem. On the right, you see a TPI model F18TE. This was purchased brand new, it just came today. After trying out the 12-inch, I had to have the 18-inch. Had some extra money from Christmas. Why not? Anyway, let's compare the two. The Air King is manufactured by Lasco Metal Products, Westchester, Pennsylvania. So pretty much everything on the fan is American made except I'm, ex I'm assuming the motor. Which is made by Supreme, I'm assuming that is China Pride. TPI is all China Pride. Even says made in China right on the label. But the overall build quality of it more than compensates for that. TPI, in terms of styling and the way it's put together, it's an old patent. It is a patent from the 80s and 90s. And I'll go deeper into that later in the video. But let's get to the meat and bones of things. The Air King, well, both these fans have totally enclosed motors, but the Air King has a cast aluminum motor with ball bearings. The TPI has a motor with stamped steel end bells and sleeve bearings, but it does have oil ports, which seem to be they seem to be a recent re-edition. Because there is a video out there on the internet somewhere of a late 90s TPI with back when they were making them in the USA it had a Macmillan motor with oil ports a couple other notes the Air King has an 8 foot cord with a fused plug the TPI has a 10 foot cord no fuse in the plug. Both are three speed fans, but there are some differences in speed separation that you'll see once we get into the demonstration portion of the video. Uh, another major difference, the Air King uses steel blades, which obviously are heavier and easier to get the, the weights wrong. So there seems to be a string of these. I don't know if this is still the case, but a lot of the a lot of the Air King high velocity fans that came out of the factory in the late 2000s into the early mid teens, they seem to have some issues with balance. In fact, I had to ba I had to balance this one. And it's a 90s unit. The TPI, on the other hand, uses aluminum blades, which are very, very well balanced. No vibration at all. And you can see, if you look, there is a fourth hole in each of the blades on the TPI's blade set. And what that is for, that is for a balancing screw or nut or rivet or whatever they put in there. Whenever they get a blade that's off balance, that's how they fix it. Anyway. Let's 
get my camera set back up here. Let's see how they perform. Starting with the Air King on low. the Air King's going to have a nice long spin down time between the steel blades and the ball bearing motor. So while that's spinning down, we'll take the TPI through its speeds. spin down on the TPI because it is a brand new sleeve bearing motor. I did go ahead and throw a couple extra drops of oil in each of the bearings after I took it out of the box, but it's still a brand new sleeve bearing motor, needs to break in, yada yada yada. So both fans are plenty powerful. I don't know the exact CFM ratings off the top of my head, but the TPI definitely seems more powerful in terms of wind speed. 
Um, I will get the CFM ratings and publish them in the description when I, whenever I post the video. Um, one more thing I forgot to mention, the Air King does have a slightly more powerful motor in terms of horsepower. It's a 1 6 horse as opposed to the TPI's 1 8 horse motor. So, what I'm going to do now is a very unscientific paper test. Turn both fans on high and hold a piece of paper up in front of them. See which fan blows the paper harder. And the results are interesting. You seem to get more air movement from farther back with the TPI, which just tells me that it relies a bit more on entrapment and entrailment to push as much air as it does. Whereas the Air King, you get more right in front of the fan. Again, this is a very unscientific test done by some yahoo in his basement. Anyway, thank you for joining us on this episode of Not All New Things Are Shit. We will see you again shortly. But wait, there's more! Of course, I could not do a video on a high-velocity fan without a cameo. Rather, I couldn't do a comparison video without giving this lovely old Sears a cameo, since it's probably the most powerful high-velocity fan I own. Couple quick notes, the Sears does have a much steeper blade pitch than the Air King or the TPI. Um, it's also a couple inches smaller. I believe this is a 16 inch model. But the speeds and speed separation or lack thereof are very much the same as the TPI. So we'll give it a quick run through its speeds and do the paper test on it as well. Sears does have aluminum blades, but being that it does have a shaded pole motor, it does take a, a little while to get up to speed. I don't know how much wind is in the camera mic, if you can hear me or not.
Now, even though this motor is sleeve bearing, expect a long spin down time because it is very well broken in. And now it's time for one more paper test. Turn it this way for the best results. Results are interesting. You definitely get more in front of the fan, or directly in front of the fan with the TPI, which I was expecting more directly in front of the fan from the Sears. But in terms of entrailment, the Sears blows the TPI out of the water. Well, I suppose there's not much more to be said. So thank you for joining us on this episode of Not Everything That's New Is Shit. And everything that's old still blows everything that's new out of the water. And goodbye for real this time. See you next time.